Hey guys, this is the Prince of Mastodon, and I'm doing a commentary video for Rome Total War. This is a multiplayer battle. I command the Macedonians, and my opponent is TGN Conquest from the ATW OTD clan, and he commands the Scipia Romans, and those are the Romans in blue. Okay, so I am coming forward here to do battle with my opponent. My opponent does have an archer superiority. I'll show you his archers in a minute here. But I've got my own archer force here, ready to do combat. And there is his archer force. On the front ranks he has two units of Roman archers. they got tons of upgrades. Behind them he has four units of the archer auxilia. Those are heavily armored archers, and they have very good range. And his infantry force consists of four units of Praetorian cohorts, and he even put his general in one of those units. Then his cavalry force has four squadrons of Praetorian uh, cavalry, and there they are. So he has a Praetorian army for the most part, not including his archers. And there is the front ranks of his uh, Roman archers right there. And he's going to come forward too a little bit. And you can hear his archer auxilia launching their arrows already at my guys. I'm not so worried about his archer force as I'm worried about his Praetorian cavalry first and his infantry force second, but I will come forward here in Macedonian style. My goal is not to shoot it out with his opponent, my goal is to, uh, is to get close with my opponent and give him the Macedonian business. But there's my, my rural pikes. These guys are accustomed to battle. They have fought many campaigns with some of the greatest leaders of, in history, such as Philip II, Alexander the Great himself, and there were many other great Hellenistic commanders, especially uh, Antigonus the One-Eyed, one of the greatest successors of Alexander the Great. Very, uh, very distinguished record he has. All right, so I'm coming forward here. His archers are going to stand their ground, and I'm going to launch my Macedonian Phalanx Charge into them. So there's my, my Royal Pikes. Alright, now that I've reached his archer line, my next objective is to uh, reach his um, his line of Praetorian cohorts intact. And I want to minimize the amount of damage his uh, Pila can take on my pikemen, so I want to get there as fast as possible. Alright, now that I'm there, my next concern is his uh, cavalry. And you can see his cavalry's made no movement yet. So he's being more conservative with his cavalry. And there he thought he can charge my Royal Pikes before my guys get their Sarissa down, but I anticipated that and I brought my Sarissa down in time. Now he's going to charge my Sarissa from all sides on my left. But this is where my companions come into play. I'm going to uh, rescue my Royal Pikes right there with a uh, stereotypical uh, cavalry rescue. So da 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 da. Alright, so. This is where the uh, furious battle is going to be right here, the decisive battle, and this is the uh, the cavalry fight for the most part. I'm also coming down the other side too with my cavalry, so I want to uh, trap his cavalry. If I can destroy his cavalry, then I'll have a much easier time destroying the rest of his army. Um, right here you can see that my rural pikes are holding out against the uh, Praetorian cohorts. Usually people would bring uh, urban cohorts, but my opponent wanted to uh, balance out quantity and quality, so bringing a, bringing a couple of, uh, of highly upgraded uh, Praetorian cohorts is a nice thing to do, too. Not a bad choice. Alright, so I've destroyed his cavalry for the most part. He has, a, he has like one or two squadrons remaining, but they're very depleted. So I've launched a hammer and anvil strike into the uh, center of his Praetorian cohort line. You can see his archers uh, shooting my guys with their flaming missiles. And now I'm going to go after those culprits right there, or at least make my opponent think I am. So I'm going to swing back and charge onto the uh, onto the right side of my phalanx there. That's where his uh, other enemy general, remaining please. Praetorian Press cohorts are. So, that the so his, his, army his melee force is effectively tool. destroyed. Now I'm free to uh, roam the battlefield and take out his archers. I'm going to reform the line of my phalanx here. There's really no purpose in that other than just to uh, make the video look cooler. And you can see my, my cavalry going down the extreme right. So you can see right here my cavalry is going down here. They are chasing down some of these archers. There's one unit right here. 
and there's one more unit on the other side of the battlefield. So he has two archer units left. And I'm going to peel some of my horses away and start chasing after these archers. But at this point, my opponent is going to throw in the towel, this and he admits defeat. But a uh, very good soldiers. game to my opponent, TGN Conquest. He fought really well, and um, he was very well-mannered in the game. And that was a clear victory for me, and I'll let you read the results yourself.